Okay, here is a second follow-up video to uh, my Lincoln 2018 Lincoln Navigator uh, rear seat entertainment. When I posted the first video, a lot of people came back with questions, and uh, I try to answer as many of them as I could in this video. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I wanted to uh, check out the multicast, the Lincoln Play app, as well as trying to hook up a Roku stick to the HDMI port. So go through the menus, go to Wi-Fi, and uh, here there is an SSID name and a password. You click on Show Password, and it comes up. And I play around with it a little bit here to try to come up with a different password, something shorter, easy to remember, and um, it just kept reverting back to a long complex password so whatever for the purposes of uh, this demonstration uh, we'll keep it as it is Here I enter, enter a bunch of cues, no good, too short. Still more experimenting. So I got to tell you, I was pretty disappointed in this entire smart stream multicast system. Uh, didn't have very high expectations, but one of the things I was hopeful for was that from my phone I could uh, stream Netflix or something to the screen so if my kids wanted to watch the latest movie wherever it was they can access it from my phone using my phone's data plan and uh, I could smart stream or multicast whatever you want to call it to the screens when I Bought the car, I asked the dealer if that was possible. He told me it was only content that lives on your phone. So not content you're streaming to your phone, from your phone. It's content that actually lives on your phone. So setting up uh, this access point here, your phone, your mobile device, whatever, connects to this screen as the hotspot. So your cellular data is essentially ineffective because your phone thinks that this is the Wi-Fi. And this becomes a problem I found out later because every time you get in the car your phone connects to this as a hotspot. It thinks there's internet and there isn't so when you're trying to do GPS or email or whatever uh, it says no internet connection this is a iPhone X 10 whatever so here the screens ready for my device to connect to it and hopefully the screenshot comes up here sorry I made this video um, earlier and I'm recording the sound now since sound just didn't come out too well So on the phone, you go in, open the Lincoln Play app, and go to Smart Stream, which hopefully comes up here in a second. So on your phone, it says Wi-Fi is not connected. You go in there, you choose the Lincoln Family Entertainment System Wi-Fi, connect to it. You pick which monitor you want. A or B and then this actually takes some time this is a still screenshot but it took a good 20 seconds eh, about 10 15 seconds to uh, load that video maybe closer to 20 and this is just a random uh, Cub Scout video that was on my phone 
uh, once it's connected, it streams fine. But who really has all that much content that lives on your mobile device? So uh, that was SmartStream. And Miracast, it states it's from monitor, monitor to mobile device. Um, I went into Miracast, sorry, Multicast, and um, essentially kind of did the same thing. So it took content from my phone and threw it on the screen. The Link and Play app says it's from monitor to mobile device. So I guess what that means is it can go from a monitor to an iPad or something in the back. So here I hook up uh, a Roku, and, sorry, yeah, Roku, and um, it says HDMI is now connected. There it goes. Now you can hide the wire. You can get a flexible HDMI cord and tape it all behind the screen if it's going to be permanently installed. Uh, I wanted to make sure that the USB also provides enough power for that Roku stick where you don't have to plug it into the 110 and it was adequate. So here, streaming Netflix. Not terrible in the, in the way of delays here. It's acceptable. This is actually using my home Wi-Fi, not a great signal uh, in the garage, but this would work very similar to if you're using your Lincoln-enabled Wi-Fi or if you have a hotspot on your device. So you can see Netflix actually works pretty good. I've done some YouTube videos. They work fine. So if you don't want to load a bunch of movies onto a USB stick or an SD card, plug in one of these streaming sticks. Just have a uh, internet hotspot available or sign up for Lincoln's uh, AT&T plan. And this will work fine. So here's just some random pictures. Um, I will tell you, I think Lincoln Play app, the Lincoln Play app is completely useless. Um, I don't think we'll ever use it. Again, I'm an IT guy, so if there was a way to make it functional, I would do it. Um, sorry to say, but it's either uh, plug a USB stick in, uh, SD card with all of your content. Uh, if you want to get creative, you could connect. Um, a mobile Wi-Fi hotspot that also has a hard drive attached to it. Um, you got to be somewhat tech savvy to do this and it basically acts like a media server and um, you can use the smart stream functionality to connect to that media server and stream content to the, the, the monitors. But again, I think it works fine if you just load your content. You can put 60, 70 movies on a 128 gig USB stick. If they're super high quality, you, know, you can at least get 30, 40 movies on a 128 gig USB stick. Somebody asked if the remotes were lighted. They are not. Uh, there is uh, an individual reading light. Um, for both left and right rear seat passengers. So uh, without disturbing anybody, they could turn that light on, look at the remote. But uh, the remote's fairly simple. I think after a few uses, you'll be able to feel where the buttons are and you won't really need light. Um, I believe that's it. If you guys have any more questions, let me know. I'm not a professional uh, YouTube content creator. I made this video only because uh, I wished it was there before I purchased the system. Still would have gotten it. I think it's great. But uh, in all my research, it would have been nice to see this. So hopefully it helps you guys. Cheers.